Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Apple's brand new Apple Card, their very own take on a credit card. So this was announced a couple of days ago at their keynote event, um, alongside their brand new streaming service. And although quite a few people expect them to announce the long-awaited air power, which we've been waiting on for at least a couple of years now, there were no new physical products unveiled at this keynote. So the Apple Card is Apple's brand new take on a credit card with loads of amazing features. So without further ado, let's get straight into them. So the first feature on the brand new Apple Card is actually the ability to track your spending within the wallet app on the iPhone really, really easily. So instead of a regular bank statement where you might not know where your money's going, with the Apple Card, you can actually go on the app and see exactly where each transaction was made and it will show you actually the location on the app. The app is also really, really easy to navigate uh, with features on there, including making payments and also obviously tracking your spending. Now you can have a look how you've been spending on two different things. You can look at weekly and monthly, uh, or you can also look at categories. So they split up your spending into things like food, shopping, and you can actually click on there and see what you spent on food, what you spent on shopping, etc., etc. The second great feature about this card is that you actually get cash back on every purchase. Now this is one of the Apple Card's biggest selling features uh, because otherwise it's just a regular credit card. Every purchase made with the card, you get 1% cash back. So if you go fill up your car and spend 50 pound, you'll get 50. 2,000 years later. 50p back from that transaction. For any purchase made with Apple Pay, you get 2%. And with any purchase made from the Apple Store, you get 3%. And that does include the iTunes Store or the Apple Store. So that means if you go and spend maybe 2,000 pounds on a new Mac, you can get about 60 pound cash back for that just for using your Apple Card to purchase it. So for me, that cashback feature is actually one of the best things about the Apple Card. Um, it's just free money. I mean, why wouldn't you want that? Third feature about this card, and one of my personal favorites, is actually the design of the card. Now, I'll put a picture on the screen now just for you guys to have a look, but it just looks so futuristic. Um, it's made out of titanium, which is obviously not your usual credit card. One of the special things about this card is it doesn't have your card number on. It'll just have your name, the chip for the chip and pen, and also the little Apple logo on there. So it does look really, really cool. So you heard it here first, Apple card, biggest flex of summer 2019. So the fourth amazing feature about this card is there's actually no fees to pay. There's no hidden fees, there's no monthly fees, there's no subscription fees, nothing at all. So the only fees you will pay on this card are the interest rates if you haven't paid off the balance by the end of the month. Apple says that the fees range between 13 and 24% depending on your interest rate. Um, but obviously, if you've paid that off before the last day of the month, you don't have to pay anything. So another great feature about the app is actually that there's an interest calculator. So it will tell you if you pay off X amount, this is the amount of interest you will have to pay. And it's like a sliding wheel that you can go around. I'll put an image on the screen for you now just so you can sort of understand that. The other thing with the Apple Card is that there's no set date within the month when it has to be paid off. It's not different for everybody. It's nice and simple to remember. It's the last day of every month. If you haven't paid it off by then, you're paying interest. Simple as that. The last feature on this card is Apple's pledge to privacy. So unlike other banks and financial institutions, they will not be collecting your spending data and utilizing this in any way. So a lot of companies will collect this sort of data and it will go to advertising companies and this will be used to build ads on you. With the Apple Card, they will not be sharing any of this data at all. The last feature about the Apple Card, which I did mention earlier, is the fact that your card number is not actually on the front of the card. This means that if your card's stolen, um, nobody was going to be able to go online and make purchases, and then you've got to go through the hassle of getting fraud to give you the money back. Your card number and security code are all stored safely within your iPhone. So if you're a security savvy person, you're very focused on sort of personal protection of your data, the Apple Card is definitely one of the most secure cards that you will be able to get. Now as for the release date, Apple have said that it's coming to the US in summer 2019, but again, they haven't specified a specific date, and they also haven't told us when this product will be coming to other countries. So for myself in the UK, um, likely if the product's a success in the US, we'll be awaiting it hopefully a few months after the US. But again, we just don't know. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that subscribe button. Please do like the video, and let me down below if you think you'll be getting this Apple Card when it comes out.